Good morning, everyone. I am currently sitting on my floor with Tessa, trying to comfort her because mom left to go run some errands and she uh, doesn't like it when mom leaves. And then I'm also making some hot, well, the hot water just finished being made, so I'm about to go make some coffee this morning in my French press. Um, today I don't think there's really much planned. I'll probably end up doing schoolwork and going for walks and hanging out. It's still chilly out, I think, this morning. But, um, I'm not sure when I'll go for my walk today. But I thought I'd come on here and just kind of say hello. And then I will take you with me if we go anywhere. But I don't think we will be going anywhere. But I will see you guys later. Hi everyone. So I just finished doing my journaling, which I should have just shown you either that way or this way. I don't really know which way. Um, and one of them is like um, a manifestation journal. And then one is just a journal where you, I just write in it. Um, and I kind of wanted to talk about that just a little bit because it was something that I was doing consistently for a little while and then kind of fell off of doing it consistently. And for me personally, I really enjoy journaling and it helps me a lot in terms of just getting if I'm stressed, getting things off my mind that way, or even just using it to acknowledge progress that I've noticed I've made in certain things, or just a space to let anything kind of out. And it's benefit, it usually benefits me, I have found, when I do it. Um, and it's also kind of feels like a different form of meditation. But I feel like a lot of people could benefit from journaling. So if you've ever thought about it, I would definitely say try it. Because I really enjoy doing it. And I know some people who also have found benefits from just journaling and writing in general. Um, it can also help improve your levels of creativity, which I learned that recently in my health coaching course that I'm taking, which is really neat. Uh, it can help you a lot, especially if you do it in the morning or something before you start your day and just shoot for two to three pages. And you can write whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a thing. You can just write whatever comes to your head. Um, I also have found that it helps or has helped me at night too sometimes if you write before you go to bed if you're someone who overthinks or your brain tends to be a little bit more active at night when you're going to bed sometimes journaling before you go to sleep or if you're trying to go to sleep and your head just won't stop saying things it can help with that as well. Um, but I just finished doing my journaling, and it's put me in a good mood. I am not sure I'll probably go on a walk soon. I might take my little dog. She's over there sleeping on her bed, though, so I might not go just yet. I haven't gone on a walk yet today, which is I'm not my normal thing, but it's probably a good thing that I haven't gone right away. Um, my hair has been just not cooperating the last three to four days, so I'm very sorry. I did brush it. It just looks 
not good. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not really sure. I do have schoolwork that I'm going to do today. And then there's also like a webinar, like check-in thing that I registered to listen to. But I don't remember what time it happens. So I'll have to check in, check what timing that is. Uh, if I miss it though, there's, it'll be like pre-recorded and put in our, um, like an area that we have access to in our student portal. So I'm not too worried about it. And yeah, I don't know. I think, okay, so I spaced out and had to stop the other recording that you'll see before this one, but I think that it's really important to acknowledge the progress that you see in yourself. And if you're working hard to um, either improve different aspects of your life or you're trying to work really hard on a project or you're just working to improve something or anything, I think it's really important to make sure that you acknowledge the progress you're making. And even if it's just like in a moment, like for me personally, something I've been working on and that I've noticed I've been a little bit better about recently is trying to fight off thoughts that I'm, that I have that maybe my mind is making up and it's not true. And instead of maybe giving in to have a reaction to whatever my mind is telling me to combat it with acknowledging that this is not a good thought and it upsets me, but also that's not true and combat fighting it off with like a more positive thought and things like that. If you notice things in yourself that you're starting to see that you're improving on or there's progress being made make sure you acknowledge it for yourself because when you start acknowledging those things then I believe that they will just kind of continue to start getting better as you acknowledge your progress and plus it makes you feel good when you can recognize the progress that you are making or have made so um that is one thing that I did want to say. And also, on another note, I have a blog post coming out on Sunday as well about, um, well, you'll see what it's about once it comes out on Sunday. But just be ready to look out for that. And then I have not picked a topic yet for tomorrow's Thursday tea time, but I will um, hopefully have one decided later today. If not later today, then I'll decide it tomorrow and get that filmed for you guys. But until then, I will see you in a later.